The reason Hildegard is famous now is because in her 40s, she started having visions, spiritual visions. My name is Rocky Duval. I am a classical singer specializing mostly in Baroque and early music. So we're researching a 12th century saint named Hildegard von Bingen. So I am looking at the facsimile of uh, her work Symphonia. As a composer, she was writing for this group of women at her abbey, which was very, very cool that we have all this music written just for women. She was really the only person that we have surviving writing specifically for female voices. The next biggest amount in, in terms of volume that we have of, of music written is like three, four, five hundred years later. The idea of pitch and keys didn't really exist yet because how would it? It was just you tuned to whatever psaltery you had, you know, whatever instrument you had, uh, and you sang based on what felt comfortable in the voice. So we know that everything she wrote would have been in what we would contemporary call treble clef, you know, for treble voices, because they were all women. Uh, but what's important is the intervals. There are these certain spots where they look like a, a backwards L, and those are a, a jump of a fifth, probably. There are ones that are even, even bigger that would be a jump of an octave. What's so cool about chant is that it is this base of all Western music, and that's been really satisfying for both of us to kind of dream about how we want the music to go. I am working on a play about Hildegard von Bingen, and I'm working on it with my writing partner in Germany, Friederike Becht.